Hello. Okay, so one of the really cool things that you can do with the you do to tool is you can take a PowerPoint and convert it into a course, and then you can add your own screens uh, on top of that, including assessment screens. So that's what we're going to talk about today is how to add assessment screens to a PowerPoint. So to make this short, a uh, quick one, I've actually already converted the PowerPoint. As you can see on the left, there is um, a whole list of slides there. Those all came from my PowerPoint. Um, and yeah, if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to convert a PowerPoint or upload a PowerPoint into the YouTube course, check out one of our other videos called how to convert a PowerPoint to a SCORM course using you do to. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about how to add assessments. It's really simple. All you have to do is pick a slide that you'd like the assessment to show up after. So say if you want the learner to have an assessment after slide 14, click on slide 14. Then slide 14 will appear in your edit screen. So in another video, I talked about how to edit your content, but we won't go there for today. And then click add new assessment screen. Now here you're going to get a bunch of different options of types of assessments that you can use. For now, I'm just going to talk about one. I'm going to do another video that's going to go into depth about each assessment and um, the power of uh, different options for the assessments. But for now, we're just going to talk about multiple choice. So I'm going to choose the multiple choice template. This is just straight up multiple choice question. There's no image or anything. Um, you can give your students some instructions. Uh, how about select the correct answer. This implies that there's only one. And a question, hopefully relevant to the information on slide one through slide 14. So let's say, what color is the sky? Very relevant. And I'm going to say red, blue, or green. There's only one correct answer, so I'm going to check the one that is correct is blue. So I'll make sure to put a check mark next to blue. Um, and then you can add feedback for your students. I'm also going to go into more detail about that in the assessments video because um, there's actually some pretty cool things going on there but for now we're just going to leave all of that blank so the students will not get any feedback and I'm going to press save oh but I'm actually going to rename this to question one all right so here we have it we have our powerpoint with a question right in between so yeah thanks for listening